Angelo, um, after what seemed like a really good first half, obviously um, we sort of come out second half and been undone by a little bit of quality from Sutton and lost the game 1 0. Yeah, I thought we started the game really well, really front foot. Um, a bit like how we've started all the games at, at home. Just disappointed. There was, there was one moment in the game, that one little bit of magic from them, and they've scored. I don't recall them having a, a, a shot. Uh, in the game and that's no disrespect to them I just think it was a really really close game and and we've been sucker punched by a goal and that's what this league does to you you know but in terms of our reaction from the Wilstone game it's like a totally different team um, but without that real killer instinct yeah I think you're right from where we were Wednesday which there was a lot of disappointment mm. and, and I know you were you said it in your interview on Wednesday you know you've always supported the players and you you called them out a little bit on Wednesday but they've yeah. definitely reacted today They've worked hard, but just unfortunately not had that little bit of quality to get ourselves even. Yeah, I mean, after Wednesday, I didn't think we played any football. So I said to him today, we've got to play with good energy because our fans love that. They love a team with, you know, that, that are hungry, um, which I thought in the first half we did. But we, we lacked that real creative spark. And I just said to the players in there, you know, I feel for them today because I think they worked their absolute socks off. Um, but in a team, you've got to have... You've got to have that magic every now and then to get you out of a bit of trouble. And when the game's nil-nil, you know, you, you need that little spark. And to be fair to them, what a great goal it was from them. Uh, I think it was Coley with a great little touch and then and they've scored. But, you know, even a point would have been a good one for us today just to get us back, back on track. But it weren't to be. But I do think anyone watching the game would have seen, obviously, better signs than Wednesday. Um, they're disappointed. Of course, they're disappointed. They want to see a team winning. Um, so I feel for the fans, but let's remember, you know, we are we are Braintree Town in the National League, tough league. They've got the right people to keep working hard for this football club. Um, and trust me, I'll be thinking about this all week to make sure it's right for Saturday. Yeah, I was going to say a little reminder there that you know where we are now in the yeah. National League. You know, it's it's there's no no gimmies, there's no easy games. We found that out against a really tough Wheelstone on yep. Wednesday, and again here today against Sutton, but. You know, it was promising today. It was better. Yeah. I promise is the wrong way. It was better. It was, 100%. you know, the boys did work hard. But like we say, it's that little bit of quality. This season, I can tell you now, is going to be up and down. It's going to be some fantastic performances. Yeah. Go back to the Old Tringham game. And there's going to be some really tough ones. There is no easy games in this league. You know, we could have played your Epps Fleet today. You could be playing your Forest Greens. Every game is tough. All I'd say to our, our fans and our football club is we've been competitive every single game. Even the games we've won, it's been tight. And then we've nicked it 1-0, you know. Um, so stick with us, keep believing. I did not take this job on this season thinking it was going to be easy. But I've got big shoulders, you know, I'll get on with it. I'll keep working hard for this football club. My staff will. And I honestly believe that the players in there are hurting. And they will, you know, we'll come back stronger. Um, we've got a great chance next week in the FA Cup to get to... You know, to get to that second round, which I think the club hasn't been in for like eight years. You know, I know it's hard for them to see, but we ain't in a terrible place. You know, we're in a, in a league that we could have only dreamt of three years ago. So, you know, we need them even more now. When you're winning, it's easy. You know, when you're getting beat, that's when you see, your, you know, the true colours come from everywhere. And that starts from me. I just work even harder. Yeah, and you're right, you know, you need the fans on you, with yeah. you, you know, when the chips are down. Get behind the team, yeah. keep singing, have your grumbles afterwards. Yeah. We're all happy with that, we understand. But during the 90 minutes, you just want to hear the place rocking. And by the way, that, that ain't a dig at our fans. Our fans have been outstanding. I get their frustration. I totally get it. But we need a lift. We need a lift on the pitch. So, like I say, just keep getting behind us. Make sure we're out in force next week. It's a massive game for us. And it's a winnable game as well. So... Hopefully it'll give us that little spark to push on for the rest of the season. So how does that work now then? Is the training training's the same? We obviously prepare for the next game. We don't worry about league action. We've got a week off of that now. So we go and focus one whole hundred percent is on the FA Cup game. Same same sessions this week and then um, put everything into next Saturday. We will prepare for Saturday's game like we do for every game. You know, there's no stone untouched and we will make sure that we prepare. And that that, that means if we if we're planning a six senior cup or we play the FA Cup or League, same preparation. We give everyone the right respect. Um, and if anything, we'll probably train even harder next week to make sure we're right for Saturday. But, you know, the players today, they worked hard. Wednesday, I was disappointed in terms of heart, passion, hungriness. Totally get the frustration with, 
with everyone involved at the club. But today, I thought there was a real, real effort from us. Just a lack of quality. Just that little bit of extra quality to get us over the line. Thanks, Ange. Look forward to catching up next week. Thanks.